let's create a model so this is at komodo where all of blog post will be stored okay so this is our model it has two columns the title of post and the description of post after creating model let's add the model to admin py file Control S to save the changes. After that, let's create the super user for our project who will be able to log in in Django default admin dashboard. So let's make migration, then after we'll create a super user. Now let's create Django project super user. Okay, so the username is Motec. Password is I can't tell you my password. Password is Motec, username is Motec, never mind. So username is Motec and the password is Motec. But this is for development. In production, make sure you have a strong password. So here you can see, okay, user. So this is user, Motec. And here, let me show you. <coughs> okay. Here, there is no token. But we can add a token. As we go further on React font and part, the authentication method to be used will be token. Okay. So every user will be authenticated by token. And every user will have token. But currently, let's create token manually for user Motec. But as we proceed, this token will be created by default when user is created. So let me add a token. So user is Motec, then I click save. After that, you can see this is token for user Motec. Okay. Another thing, I think, uh, Control S to save the changes. Now you can see model article okay let me click add let me add one article Okay, so as you can see, we are we are now able to log in as admin. We are able to create user, and we are able to create we are able to create articles. So that is.